today we are going to ride on our advanced and newly built the first drone and in this video we are going to cover all the aspects of the tapas drone and also going to compare some of the other drones that is like the drones of a turkey that is tv2 and the others israeli drones also let's start it what is tapas drone if we talk about its full form it is tactical airborne platform for aerial surveillance beyond horizon 201 is the full form of the tapas drone actually what is happening that the surveillance drone was converted into the armored drone. Means our tapas drone is a surveillance drone and that was converted into the armored drone. So firstly we have to know what is surveillance drone and what is the armored drone. Surveillance drone is only used for the border areas surveillancing. Means watching the enemies and overall giving the ideas about the locations, mappings uh, in the denser areas, in the red spot areas they are not able or capable to do any kind of fighting and to destroy the enemy but if we talk about the armored drones in these drones there was the installation of uh, missiles and having a good hand points through which it can easily able to not only detect the enemy but also able to destroy the surveillance also able to destroy the enemy's tanks enemies soldiers enemies uh, equipments okay so this is the difference between a surveillance drone and an armored drone if we able to compare it with because recently in news that the usa also developed a armored drone from the surveillance drone that is a predictor predictor is a drone of uh, the usa which uh, converted the surveillance drone to armored drone it uh, was converted from surveillance to armored they installed the missiles and some of the hand points into it to make it a strong armored proof drone okay so come to our topic that is what is tapas drone so tapas drone was the advanced version of the rustam 2 it is converted by the drdo and it is constructed and production work done by the hal that is hindustan aeronautics limited almost 74 to 76 Tapas drone is seen to be added in Indian Army and Navy and Air Force. If we talk about its uh, first trial, its first trial was taken place in 2019 in Chitra Durga, Karnataka in India. And after its uh, first uh, test, it came into the existence and everyone was talking about it because uh, of its development, because of its quality, because of its uh, surveillance which was installed in it. We are talking about all surveillances in upcoming videos so that you will be able to realize. So do not skip it and watch till the end what are the engines, what are the surveillances, what are the cameras used in it. Okay. So now we come to know. So what is the length of that fleet? The length of that fleet is 31 feet and the wingspan of that drone is 67 feet. What is that wingspan? Wingspan is like... Uh, the wings of that uh, drone so I also wanted to tell you what is the role of that wingspan and having the larger size of the wingspan actually wingspan is used basically used for uh, the balancing or the stability of the airplanes or the flies or the drones also so they are working for and they are used for the stability of the airplanes or the any kind of the airways transport okay so now come to our engine part which kind of engine used in that purpose the in the tapas uh, drone the engine was installed that is turbo prop type of engine it was an advanced engine consist of a gas turbine that drive a propeller and providing a necessary thrust to the aircraft that's why it was going to be freight at high altitude with high speed this type of engine commonly used in mail drones so what is mail drones that is medium altitude long endurance drone this kind of engine present in tapas and installed in apas tapas that increases its efficiency and endurance let's talk about 
the number of fans which is installed in it. Actually, the number of fans, it was two fans, each having three blades is installed in it and that generates a power of 130 kilowatt. So now you are coming to know what you are telling about fans, fans, blade. But now, here I wanted to tell you one thing. The Turkey is a drone that was exaggerated all over the world that it was the best drone uh, of the world in which only two blades are present and that was able to generate only 75 kilowatt power. And uh, this is a drone all over the across the world was like exaggerated it was the best drone but if you talk about our drone that is the first drone it was able to generate more power that is 130 kilowatt power now talking to about uh, its payload so how many amount of uh, the loads which was going to be loaded by these drones so if I talk, we are talking about our the Tapas drone, it was going to be load over 350 kilograms of weight. But if we're talking about TV2, it was only able to load above 150 kilo weight. But uh, this is not the only difference between our TV2 and the Tapas drone. There were the several more differences. So we are talking about this in later in our video. Let's come to our again in our point that is what is the service ceiling is used service ceiling of our uh, Tepas drone. Uh, service ceiling is uh, the height at which it can able to fly that is 35,000 feet. It is able to fly 35,000 a verb. If we talk about its endurance it can easily able to fly of 18 hours after fulfill its rank it was able to fly easily above 18 hours uh, if we talk about its range it was uh, about a thousand kilometer is its range and its speed is 350 kilometer per hour and if we're talking about only drones so it is about 1800 kg now come to our Another part that is how many hard points was installed in Tapas drone. What is firstly we come to know what is hard points. The the place in a drone where we attach our missiles are the hard points. So in our Tapas drone, in our advanced Tapas drone, uh, we added four hard points for the missiles. Means in these hard points we are installing the missiles and that is capable of destroying the enemies. Uh, tanks, enemies, uh, bases, enemies, equipments, okay? Mainly the drone uh, are used in the destroying of tanks because on one hand we having a tank that was so much costlier and uh, there was a possibilities of human casualty. On the other hand, there was a drone that was cheaper, that was smaller in size, that was able to carry heavy payloads and uh, having no human casualties. In our purpose, there was a missile which is used that is a Helena missile. Helena missile is about 50 kgs. So if we talking about the scenario that uh, the our purpose is able to payload that is 150 kgs, so it can easily loaded seven Helena missiles at once. So that was going to be more destroyer. And if we're talking about the our Helena missile, it is developed to destroy the tank. So let's talk about why we want this kind of uh, drone. Why world want this kind of drone? So if we see the world current war scenario from Azerbaijan to Armenia war, from Ukraine to Russia war, drone having a significant role in it as it is very cheap and having a no human casualties. As we see, the Turkey was going to provide drones to the Ukraine and that was destroying the Russia army bases. From there, we have to learn that we should also develop these kind of drones so that in the bad times, we will also able to utilize it in an effectively manner. Let's talk about the 
drone navigation system that is Tupper's drone navigation system. In this drone, different navigation system is used. That is Gagan. Gagan is the advanced newly built GPS system satellite that was launched by ISRO. It is able to provide real-time data about our plane, ships, tanks and easily coordinate with each other. This Tupper's drone is in under the India's control. That's why it is reliable and trustable GPS for the India. Well, there is a question that why we use our Gagan GPS instead of using the International Space Station. So the reason is that we do not use the International Space Station for our navigation because it was under the surveillance of the USA. And so we can't give our eyes to the other countries or the Western countries like USA who always rein the, their partners and their colleague mates. All India's trusted Gagan was not only able to navigate and track the location of our ships and the aircrafts, but it also coordinate all these things like ships, aircrafts, engines, the army, our army soldiers who was at the earth surface, and together everything we able to done this scenario through different kind of satellites engines. And that is why we do not use the International Space Station for its navigation. Now come to our another point and talk to about what are the cameras which is used in it. The first thing which is used in it or installed in it that is a night vision surveillance. Night vision surveillance clearly from the name that it is easily able to image any kind of machine or a human body, animal body at night. Okay. The second one is which is installed in it that is a thermal camera. Thermal camera is just detecting the temperature of your body and able to figure out the image of that substance. The third thing which is installed in it that is infrared system. An infrared camera contain an optical system that focus infrared energy into a spatial detector chip. Since so that is a sensor array that contain a thousands of detector pixels arranged in a grid and each pixel in the sensor array react to the infrared energy and focused on it and produces an electronic signals. Fourth thing which is used in it that is a synthetic aperture radar that is SAR. That is a remote sensing technology that is used for radar to create a high resolution image of the earth circuit. Unlike the other traditional radar system that use a signal antenna to transmit and receive signal, SAR utilize a complex process called a synthetic aperture to create a virtual antenna that is much larger than a physical antenna. This allow SAR to achieve a higher resolution and produce a detailed image. So one of the advanced version of camera or a navigation system which is used because of its advantage that it has ability to capture images regardless of weather condition or daylight. It can penetrate cloud, smoke and even foliage to provide valuable information about the earth surface. More than all the sensors and cameras, there was a another high quality, highly developed, strong system, guided system is used that is a laser guided system. Yeah, here the laser guided system is also installed in this tupper drone. So what is uh, happening in laser guided system? So actually it was uh, the overall process in which a laser designator a tupper's drone and that Gagan type of GPS is also required. So what is happening actually if there was a tank, enemy tank which is seen and our camouflage wearing army soldier that is also a laser designator will show the laser on that tank or any kind of its enemy equipment and uh, when they laser the light on that enemy tanks and the equipments 
tanks started scattering that laser and then that laser is captured by our Gagan GPS and sent that location to our Tapas drone and uh, after that our Tapas drone leaves its missile system to that enemy's tank and uh, destroy it evenly. So today's war tactics are completely changed. Who have more modernization system and having ability to get use it in a best way can win the world. Like we did in Tapas drone, converted it from surveillance drone to a fully equipped armored drone. So I hope you like this video and it add value to your knowledge about the defense and the new technologies. My main goal is to our India people know about these things and feel proud that they live in that prosperous country. So do like this video, share it with your friends and colleagues. Tab tak ke liye chalte hain, Jai Hind.